The failures that cost St. Joseph's Hospital its accreditation have now been made public, but not by the hospital itself. The BC Nurses Union fought to get a copy of the de-accreditation report, and finally the union won. The nurses say after reading the report they are furious. They say the issues contained in the report are the same ones they've been raising for months, and so far the hospital is making no attempt to solve the problems. A News reporter Gord Kerbis has the story. Today, St. Nicholas himself can be seen walking into a wing of St. Joseph's Hospital. And elsewhere, the Christmas decorations are up. But staff who work here say the mood at the hospital is far from festive. I would say morale has been down, down for a very, very long time. And for this hospital to regain its respect and morale is going to take a long time and a lot of work. In October, when the hospital lost its accreditation, administrators said it came as a shock, but it was no surprise to the nurses. We have been saying that there have been a lot of problems at this hospital for a very long time. And this is showing now that the, the public is aware of it and the administration of this hospital cannot hide behind their walls anymore. When the report was issued to St. Joseph's, neither the hospital nor Accreditation Canada would publicly release the document. Frustrated at what they say is an apparent lack of any movement on the problems, the nurses have now turned it over to the public through the media. It's out there now, so come out and talk to the public and get people involved, get the nurses, get the staff involved and show that what you're trying to do is meaningful, where you can better this. This is a serious issue. The 88-page report shows the results of staff surveys, checks on procedures and follows up on previous inspections. Among the notes that staff seems stressed and morale appears to be low. It also observed that overcrowding in the emergency room is a persistent problem. Yes, it's not good news, but it creates an opportunity for us. When we originally spoke with hospital CEO Michael Pontus about the report, he indicated the shortcomings were mainly with processes and patient care was never an issue. The hospital is fully operational, fully funded, fully staffed, um, fully functioning. These are um, behind the scenes, um, documentation processes, uh, putting in place uh, risk mitigation things. It's unfortunate that patient safety, as my, Mr. Pontus has stated, is not a huge issue there, but he is not showing or telling people that the number of issues that are out there. The nurses say the hospital appeared to be waiting until everything was corrected before letting the public know what the issues were. The nurses say the public deserves to know now, and that's why they've leaked the document. This is a public hospital. The public should be aware of what's going on in this hospital. This accreditation took place at the beginning of October. Here we are into December now, and it has not been released out to the public. What is the hospital waiting for? The nurses say the best way to start to rectify the problems is by having meaningful consultations with the staff and nurses who work at the hospital and know the issues the best. In Comox, Gord Kerbis, A News.